Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker and this is the third review that I've actually done tonight. Obviously it won't be the third review in a day but uh, yeah so I've done um, Celtic, Mar Celtic March's Thundering Molly, I've done Turner's Elderflower and um, it's another one courtesy of Orchard Box and I'm going back to the Amplefirth Abbey um, brewery because uh, they do make beers but they also make ciders as well. I tried their vintage um, last time which came in a little bottle and was really really lovely so I'm very excited to try their um, Ampleforth Abbey still cider out which um, as you can see is in uh, 500 ml bottles instead uh, and comes in at six and a half percent um, ABV, 6.5% ABV. Um, as, I, as I've already said, it's a still cider, and I, again, I love, I love the label of this. It, it looks really, really classy, and um, I know they do a cider brandy as well, which is, uh, which is awesome. A lot more companies are starting to do cider brandy, so um, you know that might be another avenue for me to go down. Anyway, let's see what it says. Um, Appleforth Abbey cider. For more than 200 years, the monks of Ampleforth Abbey in North Yorkshire have been growing apples in the monastery orchard. Today, with 2,000 apple trees spread over five acres, the Ampleforth Abbey orchard is the largest commercial orchard in the north of England. The orchard boasts more than 40 varieties of apples, which means that different varieties will be ready at different times of the year, providing fresh apples from August to July, uh, to January, sorry. We make our traditional cider from a blend of cooking and eating apples which are pressed in the Ampleforth cider mill and the juice stored in massive vats where it is fermented and matured for eight months. Pressed made and bottled at Ampleforth Abbey in York. Um, it is a light golden and refreshing medium dry abbey cider. Store the bottle upright in the cool environment. It's best served well cooled at eight degrees. And um, it actually contains... Um, Ingredients, which isn't much. Apple juice, a touch of sulfites, and yeast. That's it. That's all you really need to have in a in a proper cider. And a uh, lovely bit of sediment at the bottom of the bottle there, so let's waste no more time. I'm itching to get into this bottle. So let's uh, get that top off. There we go. Um, unfortunately, it's a bit dented thanks to that, but uh, yeah, if you like um, cat collecting, then that's one to definitely add to the collection. Right, let's go in for a whiff test. Oh, very light, very um, very fruity. Uh, quite a floral note on the nose. Big hits of lime. Touch of a uh, grapefruit. It smells quite acidic on the nose, but yeah, very very citric notes. Mmm, smells 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 really nice. So let's get it poured in the glass. Let's waste no more time. I think it's um sediment on the bot on the bottom. We'll find out. As I said, it's a still cider, so I'm uh, not going to take any care pouring this in. Yeah, that was sediment in the bottom. Awesome. That's what I like to see. Right, going for the colour test, and um, thanks to the sediment, it's got a slight cloudiness about it. You can see the bits floating about in there, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, a slight dark golden colour, as you can see, um, and obviously it's completely still. So yeah, looks lovely. Any more smells on the glass? Mmm. No, it just it just smells really refreshing, really um really zesty. Mmm, slight um slight grassy notes as well. It smells like um a fresh or you know, just walking through like a fresh orchard or something. Mmm. Smells really, really good. Let's hope it tastes as good as it smells. Cheers guys, here's to Ample of Abbey's still cider, courtesy of Orchard Box. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Instant tastes. Wow. Oh, that is so juicy. Oh, wow. That is lovely. Let's get a uh, second opinion straight away. Oh, wow. Mmm. This is so fruity and juicy. Um, I'm getting really fresh picked oranges on the initial taste um hints of lemon lime grapefruit getting a touch of mango as well um all very like very very juicy really refreshing um 
got quite a full body texture behind it, giving it uh, more punch behind the um, behind the flavours and everything. Uh, and it's left my mouth feeling quite. It's not dry. It's not like. It's not refreshing, it's in the middle, so you've got this nice like dryness just like on the outside of your mouth, but um, overall it is just like really like juicy and a refreshing like, refreshing like aftertaste and everything, an afterfeel just all around the throat. Wow, this is uh, this is packing a lot of flavours, definitely. And in amongst all this, you're still, you're getting as though you're just biting in to a freshly picked apple right there. Quite um, quite a sweet tasting apple as well. Uh, this says it's medium dry, but it definitely has a more of a sweeter taste, especially on the um, when it first hits your taste buds. But yeah, as, as though you just like, you just picked an apple fresh off the tree and just taken a big juicy bite into it. Mm. So many good flavours in this cider. This is another top quality drink from the Apple for Fabby Company. So, let's go in for a final taste before a final verdict. Mm. Lovely. Really, really nice, complex flavours in this drink. Um, yeah, Ample Fifth Abbey have done it again. Uh, they, they seem to be excelling themselves with their drinks. I mean, they've only had two, but blum and egg, they've been absolutely outstanding drinks and ones that I can't recommend highly enough. So, with that said, I don't think it's going to come as any surprise, but for a final verdict, Ampleforth Abbey's still 6.5% cider is easily going to get a 9.5 out of 10 and the cider drinker's seal of approval. Well done, Ampleforth Abbey. Um, yeah, really, really good. Well, good. It's an amazing cider. Um, don't hesitate. If you can find this, buy it, because it's it's just really really good. Um, I haven't tasted a cider as full of like citric, juicy, fruity flavors as this for a long long time, and that's saying a lot because I've had a lot of ciders um, so far. So yeah, well done, Amp for Fabi. Uh, another really outstanding effort, and I can't wait to try more of your drinks. But for now, that is another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Till then, doesn't need any more explaining. This is going to go right down my throat. Take care, guys. Until next time.